and gentlemen. We are in the oldest Chinatown in the world here in Manila, Philippines. There's so much history. It's a mixture of Filipino, Chinese. This really is a melting pot of culture. You have all kinds of cuisine. Even the language is different. Chinatown was really important in the growth of Manila. And I'm trying to explain all these things, but it's just so loud. So what we're going to do is let's get the food tour started. We're going to try... <laughs> We're gonna try some of the top things to eat here in Chinatown. So are you guys hungry? Cause I am. Let's go! Okay everyone, we're currently at Sincerity Cafe and Restaurant and they're really well known for their fried chicken. And if there's fried chicken, then I'm there. So we got a half chicken, basket of half chicken, and we also got the kikium right here. Ding! Apparently, this is one of the best kikium in Manila. It comes with this like brown gravy sauce over here and it looks really good. So I'm gonna grab a piece. Oh, by the way, kikium is like bean curd skin, um, but inside there's like pork and it's fried. Let's take a bite. Oh, oh my god, that's really, really good. So savory. Because the tofu skin is fried, got a toughness to it. Mmm, wow. Crispy and savory, drenched in the sauce. Just yummy, really a delight. Kikiam, Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's try this famous chicken. We got a drumstick, and I'm just gonna bite into it. I'm already salivating. Woo! Okay. Mmm. Tastes a lot like some of the seasoning we use in Taiwan, because it's like five spice. Mmm. The skin is really, really crisp. I know that you're supposed to use the sauces here. There's like ketchup and um, like a chili paste right here but the gravy looks so good. So I'm gonna dip the chicken in the gravy that you use for the kikium. And we're gonna dip this thick piece of chicken in, that gravy, looking so good. Ah, oh, yeah, gravy bath. Mm. Oh, it's so good. This is definitely like a guilty pleasure. Delicious, crispy, savory gravy. <laughs> Finger licking good chicken. All right, everybody, we are at our next stop here to get something really famous and delicious. It is the hopia. So it's basically like sweet rolls. Their most popular flavor is the ube and the mango. So let's see what it is. We're gonna get these two. There's a lot of options. There's like pineapple flavor. I think there's like red bean flavor as well. There's also mooncakes here and also tekoi, which is basically like rice cake. Okay, let's go check this out. Also, I just got the little cart because it's so cute. We're gonna try the hopia. Um, so all of these are made using corn oil. Um, and the crust is very similar to if you ever had like Taiwanese pineapple cake, the crust on the outside is very flaky, like that pastry crust. That's what it's supposed to taste like. So I'm opening it up to see. Ooh, oh, there's comes with two. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's actually four. Well, all right, let's take a bite. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. The consistency is so thick, so really coats your mouth. Mmm. So they're basically like little cakes. Um, inside, the filling is made with mung bean, and they mix in different flavor. This is the ube flavor, so there's a light sweetness to it. You bite into it because it's really sticky and dry. Definitely has something to drink with it. All right, let's just finish this, and uh, let's go check out the next spot. Okay, so we are at Hope. Poland. We're gonna try Poland's Hopia. I know we already tried it at the bakery place, but apparently locals prefer this place for their Hopia instead. So we're gonna see what the difference is. Well, first of all, you open it up and you guys get five pieces instead. So check that out. And it's about the same price actually. So I'm gonna pick one up. Oh, it looks really different. The other one didn't have that like burnt top right there. Do you guys see that? And the skin just looks a lot flakier. Ooh, ready? Oh, mm, this one is so much better. Oh my God, the skin is like much flakier. It's just softer. It is thick, but not as mouthful as the other one where it kind of sticks to your mouth. And the sweetness really comes through that filling. Mm, mm. 
This is so much better. It just tastes much fresher. Holland Hopia, you guys. Go here instead. Okay, everybody, we're at our next stop. It's Dongbei Dumplings, and here you can get 14 pieces of dumplings for just $4 US, about 200 pesos, which is just ridiculous. Even in the Chinatown in New York, it's about eight pieces for $4. So you guys are getting quite a deal. These are fresh dumplings handmade to order, and they are looking so good. They just came out of the pot, and I'm gonna grab one, dip it in some of this vinegar with chili oil. Ooh, that looks so good. The dumplings are still steamy. So yum. Okay, ready? Just one bite. Here we go. Mmm. It's really good. <laughs> Dough is really soft. The filling is all like mushy but very savory. It all just kind of falls apart in your mouth. I feel like one bite dumpling heaven. Mmm. 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 So inside these dumplings are pork and it's loaded with chives. You can see the filling to dough ratio is pretty good as well. They're kind of like bursting. Mm. And that price, unbeatable. At our next stop, we're just pew, 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 knocking it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right in front of me, I have the chicken pie, and it looks so cute. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's like a little cupcake. Can we get a little close up of my little cupcake, please? Wow, it's so cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and unwrap it and undress it. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. Look how perfect that is. Wow, level Asian perfection, A plus. So it's looking really flaky and I'm just gonna bite into it. Ready? Mm -hmm. You guys, the wrapper was so thin. It looked like it was part of the pie and I just bit into it. The pastry outside is very, very flaky. Almost like the same thing as the Hopia texture where it's a little bit thick and it kind of sticks to your teeth. Mm. All of it together is kind of a very heavy bite. Savory chicken soup type of flavor to it. But the consistency is kind of like a thick corn chowder. So all of that mixed together. Yum! Cute little chicken pie. Really good snack to find here in Chinatown. This is popular stand here where you can get like pickled fruits and they're all like put into this giant jar. We're gonna go sample some stuff. Oh, hiccup. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, wow. It's really interesting. It looks like some type of like plum, but it's a weird texture. Oh, it's really sour. Really good. It's really good. Oh, so this is jump boy. It's really good. Do you wanna try the hamburger? It's very sour. Oh, just one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did I just put the whole thing in my mouth? Oh! Oh! It's really sour. It's very sour. I don't think you're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth like that. Are you? It's probably this is like a staple where you can come and get a lot of this stuff. So if you guys are in this area, um, definitely check it out. Bye bye. Okay everyone, we are at our next stop. So this place is actually really, really famous. Good thing is it's really cheap and it's made fresh. So piping hot, we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Ready? Ooh, it's hot. So the way Xiao Bao is cooked is it's kind of placed on this giant iron skillet and it's cooked. So you see the bottom crust is hard. It's very similar to like Xinjiang Bao, the way that's cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys. Ready? There we go. Ooh, that looks delicious. The bow's looking juicy. You can see the skin is just soaking in all of that pork juice. Let's take a bite. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That pork juice is just really addicting. It's delicious. Oh my god. I've eaten so many bows in my life and this really is one of the better ones. <laughs> Whoa. And the inside filling is just savory, it's soft, it's juicy, it's really good.
Okay, everybody, we are at our next stop. So this place is called Quick Snack because apparently it's a place to get quick snack. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, so it's a Filipino Chinese place, but their most popular dish is an Indonesian tofu, which I have right here. So it's a giant piece of tofu, and they cut it up into nine pieces. They drizzle some type of like spicy sauce over it, and they top it with cilantro. I love cilantro. And then also there's some peanut as well. They just kind of like bathe it in a soy sauce. It looks like it has really soaked up that sauce. Let's just take a bite. Ready? It almost has this soft, eggy texture to it. It's actually quite tough on the outside, but it's that like crunchy and then soft texture, that mixture that it makes it so delicious. And drenched in this soy sauce, that's not too salty, by the way. Really good stuff. Mm. Wow. Look at this tofu treasure chest. So good. They also recommended us something else. It's like, we thought it was a chai pie. I'm just gonna take a bite. It's still piping hot right now. Ooh, ready? Whoa. Whoa. So inside it's pork, tofu, and mushroom, and it's all mixed together into this like sticky, gooey type of chowdery um, filling. Mm. Really good. <laughs> Every bite is so flavorful, so fragrant. And the crust, the flakiest crust we had so far. Oh, such beautiful crust. I want to be wrapped around in this crust. Hello everybody, we're at Pohang Lumpia House. So <laughs> this lumpia is gigantic. We had lumpia before in Singapore and they were quite tiny, but look at this one. Wow, fresh and thick. And you know I like it thick. So it's filled with a bunch of veggies um, and it's made fresh right there. So I'm gonna bite into it and see what it tastes like. Mm. Well, you guys, there's sweetness coming from that peanut powder. And I think they put in sugar as well. But it's actually quite sweet. It's not that much of a savory snack as I was expecting. But the good thing is, I mean, look at that. It's just packed full of veggies. You see that? Whoa, and the veggies are soft. There's this sauce right here. And you can kind of drizzle some on top of your lumpia. Ooh, that might be too much. Oh well. Mm -mm. This soy paste or the sauce is kind of like hoisin sauce, but much lighter. It's really, really yummy. Mm. Wow. So what the filling actually consists of, there's cabbage, there's carrot, there's tofu, you get peanut powder, and you're gonna get a little bit of crunch and it comes from fried vermicelli noodles. So they're chopped really tiny and then they're fried. So it's a little bit of a crunch when you bite into the lumpia. It's kind of like this sweet and savory vegetable roll. Mm. Wow, that's good. Hello everybody. We're currently at Cafe Mezzanin... Mezzanin... <laughs> Mezzanine? Cafe Mezzanin. <laughs> what? So we thought we would sit down and actually get a soup item because we haven't tried a soupy stuff yet. This is ox soup and inside there's just like a bunch of ox part but the main selling point is that there's tripe in here. And you can see that there's this huge chunk of radish and there's just meat just like sprinkled throughout. They are really, really generous about the amount of meat that's in this little soup. So we're gonna taste test first. Mm. It's got a little bit of that like Chinese medicinal soup taste to it. Quite light. Very like healthy and good for you tasting. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. I'm gonna try some of this tripe. For some reason when I was thinking about tripe, I was thinking about like um, really clear and transparent and kind of like flowy. But this is kind of quite thick. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Super chewy. Um, it's gonna take like a million years to finish chewing it, but really quite delicious. This is a very simple, simple soup. Feel very like homey and comforting.
Okay, everybody, so there you go. That was a huge Banando food tour. <laughs> we ate so much food. Now, here's the thing. We tried a total of 10 items and they were all really delicious and highly recommended. However, we barely scratched the surface of all the things you can try here in Chinatown. Like, literally, there's so much and this spans like it's huge, like it's huge. Show map, it's gigantic, okay? <laughs> One thing that was really interesting to me is seeing a lot of dishes that I grew up on, you know, seeing a lot of Chinese food, but then they're all kind of different. It's just like slight differences in flavor and the way, in the dipping sauces and the way it's cooked. And I don't know, I just thought it was so interesting and there's so much history, so much flavor, so much amazingness going on here. It definitely is something to explore if you guys are here in Manila. But I'll just let you know, it's quite hectic. It's all types of craziness in here. But the type of craziness that energizes you and gets you excited to travel. I love this place. All right, you guys, so now it's part of the video where I turn it back to you and ask two questions. Number one, which of the dishes that we tried today would you love to try? And number two, if you guys are a local here, what other dishes should we try next time? Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to follow me on Instagram right here. A thousand years of good luck if you do, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Meow. Meow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>